following a 6,000 mile road trip to the Pacific Northwest and a fourth place finish in the PK80, the Phil Knight Invitational. The Yukon Huskies are back in the Nutmeg State tonight, going to play host to Columbia out of the Ivy League, and all the action is coming your way right here on SNY. Set to go here at Gamble Pavilion. David and Nora going to jump center for Yukon. Patrick Tape, number three, goes up for Columbia in their Columbia Blue Road visiting uniforms, and UConn controls the tip. This is Tyler Polly, who was very quiet out in the tournament in Oregon. Jalen Adams being guarded by Quentin Adlish. Here goes Larrier, fading away. Drops in, no sight of an ankle bothering him, Tim. Tim, that long road trip. Three games out west, and then the leap flight back. Day to recover. Vital, the high arcing jumper. I think Jim Engels will have any empathy for Connecticut, and he has not <laughs> teed it up in New York City yet, but Christian Vital teeing it up from downtown. You kind of have four guys on the same side of the floor. They're not organized at all on the offensive end. Holly settles for the jump shot, knocks down the 15-footer. It's been on this end of the floor, this kind of standing around. One guy with the ball, and one else watching it. That is not going to get it done, but that will get it done. Slow to the recovery at the rim. Adams working off the Nora screen. The middle teardrop goes down, his first bucket of the game. Amadou Diara. Power dribble and a power stop. His first bucket of the night. And another three. This one won't go down. Diara, by the way, played solid minutes in that loss to Arkansas. And there he is again. The gather and kissing in off the window. Mama do Diara at Columbia under Joe Jones. Adams hangs, gives it up for Anderson. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the first half of theirs. Christian Vital. Patel again. Christian Patel is feeling it. Under a minute to go. Christian Patel being guarded by Quentin Adlish. Terry Larrier, he was in early foul trouble. We haven't seen a lot of him in this first half. And there is Patel. And when, when Patel feels it, he's deadly. He's made five threes in the game. Good job by Larrier just finding Patel. And the missed shot. UConn on the backside watching from the three-point line and Columbia attacking the glass. 22 rebounds for Columbia. There's Mama Dutiara. Addition. Adams back for Larrier and that rattles in. Anderson spotting Larrier in rhythm. Diara so active. And finally there's Larrier to go. First break center in America coming out of high school. It's a good get for Jim Angles. There he is inside, but from the weak side, Mama Dutiara coming over and getting the block. A big block, but it's going to stay with Columbia. A reminiscent of years gone by. And this is what Connecticut has been lacking the last few years. Just somebody as a presence beyond the arc. Adams, the offensive rebound. Larrier, there he is again. Finally tipped up and in. And I think it was Diara who got his hand on it. Crowd trying to get UConn back in this game. Really tough move by Antoine Anderson. For this, take you off the bounce on a mismatch and finish against the big fella. Cre creeping back in this game. All of a sudden, he took over the game. So I'm just waiting for that adrenaline for Adams to kick in to see if he can do it again tonight. He spots Anderson. Antoine Anderson, a big three for UConn. Anderson might have gotten away with a push off inside. There's a follow. This is Anderson trying to go to work on Smith, pulling up. 18 for jump shot. Jalen Adams working around the Larrier screen, giving it back. Adams down the lane. That one gently over the front rim and in. Uh, Jalen Adams has that ability to create and use that ball screen and then on the help just sit back out and then will not be denied finds in the lane all the way to the rim and nice knife, knifes his way over the top
So Columbia has led this game for over 33 minutes. All the way to the bucket. Jalen Adams hanging in the air and then kissing it off the window. To going to shoot two when we come back in a moment. He's finding a way and he had that ankle injury, but he's feeling loose and free. And finishing in traffic with Taylor Rooks. Thanks, Gary. During that timeout, Coach Ollie was emphasizing energy to UConn. He also told them to keep attacking. He said, we don't need a three. Nine rebounds on the night for Mamadou Diara. Adams all the way down the lane. Diara, the putback. Adlish Hunter, Smith, Hickman, and Meisner for Columbia. And there's that high ball screen right down the lane. Jalen Adams, and gently falls in. Adams being guarded by Adlish. Adams pulling up 10 footer in the lane. Man, he is tough. Wants exactly. I mean, they took the last shot. But here's Adams again. This is where Columbia's got some major problems moving forward in the overtime, handling this pick and roll. Here on the switch, you see Meisner. I mean, he just cannot handle Adams. They have to figure out a way to play this pick and roll a lot better than they're playing it. And right there, Adams just rises up over two forwards and knocks it in. And he can't get it to go. He had a clear lane. And here comes Connecticut, Antoine Anderson. Pulling it back for Vitale. Right back to Anderson from the right corner. And he tickles the twine. Matchups against Columbia. Looking to make it 9 out of 10 tonight. There goes Adams. Spotting Vitale. Christian Vitale. Another three. That's his seventh of the game. The screen right there. And he sets it up that high. Minute to go in the overtime. Polly giving it back to Vitale. Christian Vitale working off the dribble. Christian Vitale. UConn has their largest lead of the night at just four points. Christian Vitale getting it done in a very big way. UConn trying to pull one out at home. And that is going to do it. Christian Vitale, two free throws, and UConn survives in their building in overtime as they knock off Columbia 77-73. to 73.